Welcome to Valparaiso, the most colorful city in Chile with its world-renowned street art, colorful buildings, rich history and above all stunning coast. Join me today for a visit to this colorful UNESCO World Heritage Site dubbed as the Crown Jewel of the Pacific. In this video, I am going to tell you about my top 10 personal favorite things to do around the city. We'll talk about some of the hidden gems scattered throughout the city, best places to eat, and where you can find the most unique murals. Let's jump into it. First, let's talk about transportation. You will most likely be coming from Santiago, which is the capital of Chile. You can take a direct bus to Valparaiso, which costs around 8 US dollars and takes about one and a half hours to make the journey. You can purchase your tickets at the bus station from many of the bus operators. One of the most popular neighborhoods here in Valparaiso is the Cerro Alegre, which translates to Cheerful Hill, which perfectly lives up to its name. From the moment you arrive, you'll be greeted by the buildings painted in every color of the rainbow. And pay attention to these paintings as each of them tells a different story. It is quite a fascinating story of how the murals became so popular here in Valparaiso. Many artists use their art as a form of self-expression against Chile's dictatorships here in the 70s and 80s. In the early 2000s, the new government realized the cultural significance of this form of art and legalized it. Soon after, the shop owners began to commission artists to paint their buildings or the artists themselves would offer to paint as a form of free advertisement. No matter where you look in the city, there probably is a graffiti or some kind of art on the wall. Another cannot miss attraction here in Valparaiso are the ascensores or the funiculars. They are an icon of the city and have been used for over a century to transport the locals. One cannot imagine Valparaiso without its charming funiculars. Today, there are over 15 active funiculars and cost only a quarter to ride. Some of my favorite ones are El Peral, Reina Victoria, and Concepcion. As you take these funiculars, you'll enjoy spectacular panoramic views of the sprawling city below. I really enjoyed them and felt like I was stepping back in time. At just 100 Chilean pesos, these funiculars are a must-see. Located adjacent to previously mentioned Cerro Alegre is Cerro Concepcion, which is another vibrant neighborhood filled with beautiful homes adorned by this incredible street art. As you begin to wander down the cobblestone streets of Cerro Concepcion, you'll come across cute coffee shops, incredible art installations, and don't forget to visit one of the many miradors or overlooks that can be found here, like this Mirador Atkinson. During your visit to this lovely neighborhood, you have to check out Pasaje Alves, one of the many vibrant alleyways that you can just lose yourself in as you are exploring these incredible murals. Every alley that you step into can be so different from its neighbor, which I found to be so fascinating. One of my top recommendations in Cerro Concepcion is this concrete slide hidden in the alleyways. It is just slick enough to ride on and it is so much fun, so don't miss it. Another really cool landmark that I think you should check out are these piano stairs, which are located on Beethoven Street, just underneath the Lutheran Church. The stairs are a reminder of the creativity that can be found throughout the city, and as you walk down these stairs, you get a sense as if you were playing the piano. When you roam the streets of Valparaiso, you will inevitably stumble upon many of its furry residents. It is estimated that there are over 20,000 dogs roaming the city, but don't worry as they are super friendly. Most of these dogs are well taken care of. I have seen dog houses built for them and most of the shops even have food out in front of their shops. And don't be surprised if one of the neighborhood doggos starts following you around. It'll make you feel as you have a personal tour guide with you at all times. My next must-see stop on your visit to the city of Valparaiso is Plaza Sotomayor. This plaza is centrally located in the heart of the city near the port. This beautiful blue building is one of the most impressive structures in the city and it is the headquarters of the Chilean Navy. 
Right in front of the building, you will find a monument of the fallen naval officers who died in the Battle of Iquique. The plaza is filled with street vendors selling a variety of products, and if you are looking for some souvenirs to bring back home, this is a great place to start. While you're enjoying Plaza Santa Mayor, I encourage you to check out Valparaiso's waterfront. The port of Valparaiso has a rich history dating back to the 16th century. It became especially important during the California Gold Rush as it was a hub for ships that traveled between the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean before the Panama Canal. When you are here, you can hop onto the boats operated by the locals, which cost around two US dollars for a 30 minute boat ride. And you can admire the sprawling yet colorful city hills from the sea. There are many souvenir shops located here in Muele Prat, which is conveniently located just across from Plaza Santa Mayor. But my favorite thing I did while exploring the waterfront was listening to the waves crash while watching all of the different Navy ships docked in the harbor. Given Valparaiso's location on the coast, it would be a crime not to try some of its seafood. Throughout the city, you will find an array of restaurants from little holes in the wall to more extravagant establishments. Some of the foods that I recommend you try are the seafood empanadas, ceviche, and my personal favorite is this casserole called the chupe de jaibe, which is made of crab meat. As you wander around the streets, do not be afraid to walk up to the food vendors and ask to try some of their goods, as they are so delicious. And finally, you cannot say you visited Valparaiso without trying some of the local foods. I have previously mentioned the importance of the murals and the graffitis that can be found throughout the city, and that is why that is my next tip for you. Take the time to explore the city's prolific art scene. These paintings can be found all over the city in places like Cerro Alegro, Cerro Concepcion, Cerro Bella Vista, and much more. Take advantage of a free walking tour to learn more about the history of not only Valparaiso, but the tale told in each of these murals. I found the city to be so fascinating and I encourage you to go off the beaten path and explore the buildings, stairways, and alleyways. Take a look around you to find some truly amazing artwork. As you are searching for murals, keep your eyes and ears open to hear the sounds of the many local artists who often perform out in the street. One of the least talked about topics when discussing the top attractions to experience here in Valparaiso are the miradors, or the overlooks. These overlooks can be found all over the city and provide an incredible panoramic perspective of the city. You see, the city is built on many hills and these overlooks will help you discover places that you may not have seen while walking down the streets. To help you plan, here's a list of my favorite overlooks that I found throughout the city. You can reach many of these overlooks by taking one of the many funiculars throughout the city that I mentioned earlier in my video, but the best way is to simply walk from one neighborhood to the next and see what else you can discover along the way. And my last tip for visiting Valparaiso is for you to have an open mind when coming here. The city felt super safe and clean and the locals were super friendly. There are many places that I discovered in Valparaiso outside of the touristy areas, like this colorful concrete slide hidden among the alleyways of Cerro Concepcion, or this mural that I found on top of Cerro Bella Vista. But my absolute favorite was meeting all the dogs and showing them some love. I really hope you found this video fun, informational, and useful. If you're planning a visit here and have any further questions, please feel free to reach out. If you want to support my channel and want to see more videos like this from around the world, subscribe. In the meantime, check out my adventures from Torres del Pine National Park and I will see you all from wherever the adventure takes me. Ciao!